Here's five things that they don't tell you about being on a diet and healthy eating. Okay. All right. Number one. Foods that you think are healthy may not be as healthy as you think they are or in the right quantity. So let's take uh, an example. Okay. Number one. Um, nuts. <laughs> this is 1.23 ounces of, of walnuts. Let's see if I get to an ounce here. Let's take a couple of these away. So, um, yeah, I bought a food scale cause I'm on a meal plan where I have to write down all my stuff and, uh, I'm trying to lose a couple pounds. So this is just under one ounce of nuts. That's not a lot of walnuts, okay? Just under one ounce. And if you just add these, now you're up to like 1.2. All right, so let's look at the information on here, the nutrition facts. One ounce is a serving size, according to this, right? 190 calories, not so bad. Look at all that fat. 18 grams of fat. Now, this says that's 23% of the daily allowance. Well, on my meal plan, that's not. That counts for three fat choices, and I only get five to six a day. So this is half or more than half of my fat allowance for the rest of the day. So that means, you know, less olive oil. I can't have a, like uh, a baked good. I can't have, you know, something fun. So like if I want to like waste my fat allowance on nuts, this is ridiculous. Um, this... I've been eating these, but this is a little less than two tablespoons. This is one fat choice, and I'm supposed to eat fat at every meal. Otherwise, I won't be satisfied. So I've been eating these sunflower nuts. But you can see it's really a small amount. And you don't realize, because, I mean, this would be a handful. This would be like two handfuls for me when I would just sit here and eat this bag of nuts and think, oh, I'm eating walnuts. They're healthy. They're good for me. Not in the quantities that I was eating them anyway. All right. Now, I should just say now, I'm not a nutritionist. I went to a nutritionist, and this is what I'm learning. So take this with a grain of salt and uh, tell me what you're learning out there too. All right, food number two, uh, avocados. I don't have an avocado here. I used to because I would eat them, and I would eat them like an apple. I would like, I had this way of like uh, slicing them around the uh, cent the uh, long axis and twisting and then using the knife to like bang onto the pit and take it out. I probably have a couple of videos of me doing that. And then maybe even pour some soy sauce in the hole that was left. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Well, I found out that basically one serving of avocado is one eighth of an avocado. <laughs> so eating it like an apple, I'm eating eight times what I should be eating. And there were times when I would have two or three in a day because, you know, they're 59 cents when they're on sale. You put them down. They don't ripen for a few days. All of a sudden, they all ripen. And then, bam, right? I got to eat these before they go bad. That mentality has to go away. I'm throwing away a lot of food now instead of eating it. So, all right. Number three, a food that you think might be good, but it's not as good as you think, maybe is bananas. I was eating a ton of bananas. Same thing with the avocados. You buy, you know, a hand of bananas and uh, a bunch of bananas. Call them a hand because there's usually like, they look like fingers. Let's say there's like five on, on, a, on a hand and they all go, they all ripen at the same time. So you're going to eat them in the next day or two, right? So you eat two or three a day. Well, I found out according to my nutritionist that one half of a banana is a serving of carbohydrates. One half. All right. And so I get like 11 carb choices a day. So basically I could eat five and a half bananas and that'll be all the carbs that I'm allowed to eat during the day. Isn't that crazy? Who would have thought? I had, I had days where I easily ate five bananas and then I still had my regular meals too because I was eating bananas instead of dessert. Now, don't get me wrong. Healthy substitutions are good, but I need to know like how much to eat. That's why I went to the nutritionist. All right. Number um, four, chips, all right? So obviously potato chips, but even like Doritos or something you think might be a little bit better, it's not just carbs. Like everybody knows that like potatoes have carbs, so potato chips would be like a high carb thing, but it's fat too, right? So like seven grams of fat is one allowance of fat for what, one ounce of chips? Yeah, one ounce of chips. Like, that's ridiculous. 
ridiculous. Um, let me find like, uh, like regular, these are like some kind of weird hot style chips my wife likes. Here's like chips you buy at Aldi, right? They're like sour cream and onion ridged ones, right? One ounce, about 12 chips. Who eats 12 potato chips, right? Look at that, nine grams of fat and then 15 carbs. So I'm into like one and a half carb servings a day, or I'm sorry, carbs servings, I get 11 a day, and then one serving of fat, almost two. This is at the top end of my like range of like, it's like five to nine grams is one serving of fat. And I only get five of those a day. You know, is that how I want to spend my time? On a food that does not fill me up? Uh, you know, I don't think so. I mean, it's just a whole bunch of empty calories. And the other, uh, the number five, the fifth thing that I want to tell you about that I was, I've heard over and over, and I kind of like it, is um, people would say, eat like your grandma. Now, I don't think that's necessarily true, but I think it's more like shop like your grandma, right? Because grandma used to eat like lard and have like a <laughs> jar of bacon grease on the stove and at room temperature and cook with that later. And that's disgusting. I mean, that's frankly, frankly, it's dangerous. I'm sure there are a lot of people that died of foodborne illness, illnesses because of the methods that they used back in grandma's day, or actually more like great grandma's day now is what I'm talking about. But what I'm talking about is, did you ever remember her talking about going to the grocer and then going to the butcher? All right, maybe it's your great grandmother, but like it's, there were specific foods items and then shopping almost on a daily basis, right? So you gotta, I buy frozen you know, I buy carrots that are in the package. I buy frozen broccoli. But but basically, what I'm trying to do now is I'm buying whole foods. Not at whole foods, because I can't afford to do that. But whole foods in the sense that they're not processed. Like, instead of eating potato chips, right? Why not just eat, right, potatoes, right? One of these potatoes has all kinds of micronutrients in it. It hasn't been processed. They haven't been processed out. And it's filling, right? It's got all that like dietary, it's all, all it got all that vegetable fiber in there. So it's going to keep me full longer. So shop like your grandma. So number one, avocados, two bananas, uh, three nuts, or not necessarily in that order, uh, chips or processed foods uh, are fat and carbohydrates. And uh, five, shop like your grandma. So, all right, those are the five things that they don't tell you about, uh, you know, dieting and eating right. If you like this video and you're on a dietary journey yourself, please like the video and uh, subscribe for more. And tell me about your journey. I know we've all had uh, issues with this because, let's face it, in the United States, most of us are overweight and about... Over a third of us now are obese, technically. And I, I was on that teetering on that point, so I wanted to get up. But I'll tell you my dietary journey on another video if you really want to hear it. Let me know in the comments. Have a great day. Talk to you later.